once you saw this mammogram, uh, you can tell that uh, the skin here is normal. But if you look at the skin here, see how much thicker this skin is. Uh, but if you look at her breast, her breast doesn't show you um, a, a, a certain spot that is having issue. There is no uh, microcalcifications that look suspicious, and there is not a tumor that you can pinpoint to, right. nothing. So you know that there's something going on. It could be just a simple inflammation uh, causing or mastitis causing this uh, skin thickening. But it turned out that the patient had a really big cancer. This is the same patient that we just saw on the mammogram. This is the MRI, Aurora MRI. You saw there's an uh, abnormality there. And when we go to this panel, you see there's redness, this red area here, those are all cancer. And the blue area, that's the swelling of the breast. So see, it's very diffuse. And the, the blue area is a swelling associated with the cancer. Our MI can do three-dimensional. You can see the chest wall, the heart, and the armpits, the axillas, the axilla, and the nipples here. And you see the difference between the two breasts right off. There's something going on here. See the difference between this breast and that breast? The redness is all cancer. There's a big difference between what mammogram and MI can see. Mammogram is two-dimensional, and the density all jam together. So it's very hard to, to differentiate a breast, dense breast tissue versus a cancer. Now MRI, you can tell right away. This is a breast ultrasound, and uh, this is at three o'clock position of her breast. And uh, because we, after the MRI, we already kind of know where the problem is. So we focused, uh, we used ultrasound to focus where we can sample. And that's where, where our needle went through here to get the uh, diagnosis of cancer. This is uh, where ultrasound shows some abnormality. We are using the ultrasound. We call it a second look ultrasound after the MRI. And zoom in on where the problem that we can see on the MRI and using ultrasound to guide our biopsy needle. And we sampled that area and it was cancer.